Greetings everyone! You are watching the channel Aviation Obsession. For almost 30 years now, unmanned aerial vehicles have changed the way wars are fought. Since their innovative deployment in the first Gulf War, they have firmly established themselves on the battlefield, and major world powers like the US, India, and China have been searching for new technology to gain an edge in the skies. Bigger isn't necessarily better when it comes to drones. War zones aren't always favorable for large UAV that require miles of runway to launch, and soldiers on the ground are constantly striving to reduce weight. Additionally, the maneuverability and concealability of a surveillance drone are two crucial qualities that don't improve with size. However, a company in Norway may have found a solution to every one of these issues with the tiny Black Hornet Nano Helicopter Drone. It weighs 16 grams and is slightly under 4 inches long. Armed forces can monitor possible threats with the Black Hornet UAV. The small, remote-controlled rotorcraft aids in saving the lives of soldiers on the front lines. This tiny UAV also provides intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance support to armed forces during mission-critical operations. It provides situational awareness on the battlefield and access to off-the-grid places. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the Black Hornet drone, its specifications, features, price, and things like that. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for future uploads. Without further ado, let's get started. The Black Hornet is used by the military forces of the United States, France, the United Kingdom, Germany, Australia, Turkey, Norway, the Netherlands, and India. Its development was initiated by Prox Dynamics as of Norway in April 2008. The drone went through several test flights and all kinds of tests before entering into the serial production phase in early 2012. Let's have a look at why the military loves the small Black Hornet drone. The size of the Black Hornet Nano compared to more conventional UAV like the Global Hawk, MQ-9 Reaper, and the latest Loyal Wingman is the most obvious distinction. The Black Hornet's manufacturer set out to design, construct, and market the world's smallest and most advanced UAV, the tiny unmanned helicopter, which is about the size of a soldier's finger, appears to have lived up to its promise. Naturally, the low weight that comes with the compact size is something that the soldiers on the ground are grateful for. The U.S. Army soldier frequently carries more than 60 pounds of equipment. In some instances, according to NPR, more than 100 pounds of gear, including a load of body armor, water, and other gear. The fact that all of this equipment is being transported through a war zone doesn't help to lighten the load. The Black Hornet, however, gives warriors a useful tool without packing on the pounds. The size of the Black Hornet is more than just convenient. Additionally, it enables the UAV to complete tasks that are simply not possible for its more conventional competitors. The Black Hornet Nano is unmatched in the role of personal aerial surveillance. Despite not being able to carry the payload of an MQ-9 Reaper, for instance, there is no need for a huge staging area to launch the Black Hornet. It may simply be taken out of a soldier's palm. It can also navigate around confined areas like hallways. This enables a single soldier to virtually instantly deploy a UAV in the precise spot where it is required. The Black Hornet is made of a tough plastic molded shell in terms of design. The Nano UAV can endure strong gust because of its aerodynamic design. Three hidden surveillance cameras are mounted on the tiny drone's nose. Two unmanned aerial vehicles and a base station make up the entire Black Hornet system. The UAV is around 100 mm long and has a 120 mm rotor span. It weighs 16 grams in total, including the weight of the surveillance camera. The whole system weight, excluding the display, is less than one kilogram. The Black Hornet also has a steerable electro-optic camera that can capture both still photos and live videos that are shown on a handheld device. The base station controls can be used to zoom in on the camera for a clearer view. The Black Hornet's autopilot system provides the operator with two modes of drone control. Using the internal GPS system, the drone can either be flown directly or programmed to follow a predetermined path. Within a half nautical mile line of sight range, the user can operate the UAV via the digital data link. The Black Hornet's power source is an incredibly tiny rechargeable battery. The drone's mounted horizontal and vertical rotors can both be rotated by the battery. It has a maximum endurance of 25 minutes and can propel the Black Hornet at 19 knots. In addition, the Black Hornet Nano is operated from the ground, 
by user using a device that resembles a joystick. The UAV technology allows the pilot to control the drone at a maximum distance of 3,280 feet. The Black Hornet base station provides the system operator with planning, execution, and analysis services. Both connections for system control and for displays are present. And, of course, once we know its specifications, we're wondering about the cost of this tiny UAV. According to Gizmocrazed, a single unit only costs $195,000. When deployed in place of the Reaper for test, like personal reconnaissance, the Black Hornet represents a significant cost savings given that a single Reaper costs more than $16 million, according to a USAF analysis. The aircraft was being used by soldiers from the UK Brigade Reconnaissance Force at Camp Bastion in Afghanistan. The Black Hornet was used by Operation Herrick forces in Afghanistan to fly into hostile areas and capture still and moving pictures before returning to the operator. In 2016, it was taken out of service. The British Army had 324 Hornet Nano S in use as of October 25, 2013. Moreover, in July 2014, the Cargo Pocket Intelligence, Surveillance, and Reconnaissance Programs at the United States Army Natick Soldier Research, Development, and Engineering Center chose the PD-100 Black Hornet over other small-scale commercial UAV. It stated that more refinements for a U.S. Army mission were required, such as reconfiguring the data link, providing night vision, and enhancing navigational performance. Early in March 2015, American troops evaluated the Black Hornet, and in June 2015, Prox Dynamics sent a PD-100 with improved features for testing by Special Forces. The Black Hornet had been deployed with American Marine Corps Special Operations Units by 2015. Although the Army is looking for a mini-drone for use by individual squads under the Soldier Born Sensors program, the Black Hornet which is uniquely produced and can cost up to $195,000 per unit, is considered too expensive for widespread deployment. In short, the drone's small size has no impact on how well it performs in combat situations. The Army wants to keep increasing the Black Hornet's use in the field because it is reliable, affordable, and practical. While surveillance technology is long aimed for drones the size of a bug, the Black Hornet Nano has finally accomplished what so many have been striving for so long. What are your thoughts about this drone? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.